Mitsubishi Shogun. Changing perceptions with documentaries and four. Come on, people, get back in, please. I get a first look inside in. I'll see you. In 2013, we spent a year at this school in Yorkshire. Why are you late? Oh, that's not good enough. One year on. <laughs> we return to see where the students are now. We're back to the corridors and classrooms. That's a punishment for cheating, Robin. I saw you. And out in the real world. To see how the past year has changed them. I think I've turned from a kid to a partial man. What have I done? Have you got heavy part time jobs? And witness what's happened just this morning when, along with the rest of the country, they received their all important GCSE results. <laughs> it's the end of the summer term at Thornhill Community Academy, and head teacher Mr. Mitchell is winding down with the staff and students. It's been very challenging here. But one that I very, very much enjoyed. The buzz around the place is different. It takes time for changes that you want to make to bedding and to establish themselves. It's essentially we're moving forward. Better behaviour, fewer exclusions. We're turning our kids into people that we can be proud of. You are never. Some of our year 11s, who we all know, uh, have, have left school now and taken their GCSE. We are hoping this year's talks will be up there with the very best year that we've ever had. Shut up! One student now waiting for his results is Tom. That was almost perfect! Like me! Back in year 10, Tom was constantly finding himself in trouble. Thank you! That what that. He's causing us too many problems. Yeah. And he's getting worse. And he's getting worse, and I'm just mindful of the fact that something might kick off. Lots and lots of incidents and comments and detentions and isolations and the odd exclusion. God, we're getting a right old pain on the ass sometimes. <laughs> As Tom was struggling with his first year of GCSEs, the school received some tragic news. My stepbrother died last night. But I classed him as my real brother. In the months that followed, Tom became withdrawn and spent less and less time in the classroom. He's had a few ups and downs. Sometimes he was kicked out of those lessons, but he still tried. But with the help of English teacher, Miss Sinclair, he made it to the end of the school year. She were there for me more than anyone, and she just knew what to say, when to say it, how to calm me down. I just felt literally at the lowest point of my life. The first death I've had in my family as well, and it just never, ever, ever want to go through that again. It's been a year since Tom's stepbrother passed away. I've got them pictures on the wall of him and looking at them, it makes me upset knowing that I'll never be able to see him happy like that ever again. But now, since funeral, I've realised that I don't need to misbehave in school. That's why I changed. Tom went on to complete year 11 and took seven GCSEs. From being constantly in trouble in year 10, I won't say he had a blemish-free year 11, but dare I say almost a model student. Okay, two more. I'm amazed how, how quickly he came out of it as well and picked himself up and, and just carried on. And came back as Tom, not as somebody else. That bicep's bigger than all yours. Get pumping, lad. Start at the gym. If you're a bit stressed, just like 
pump a few weights, yeah. pick some heavy ones up, give them a few blasts and it feels a bit better. So what's the aim to get? The hench bro. <laughs> Tom is now waiting to see whether his changed attitude has got him the grades he's hoping for. He's a cracking lad now. Whether that is enough for him to get out of his GCC results exactly what he needs remains to be seen. Let's hope for his sake that there's something for him to shout about. Hello. With results day just around the corner, Tom's come back to Thornhill to see Miss Sinclair. I think I've changed already, you know. I think I've turned from a kid to a like a partial man. Cause like, partial man. Yeah. No man. Cause like, I don't, I'm going to like, grow up. I've realised that I need to go to college so then I've got something behind me. I want like a car house and with a family and all that. I just can't wait to have all of that. What are you going to do at college? Engineering. What do you need to get into college? Maths and English. You know, you apply for college, I apply for jobs. The majority of things will ask you for a C in English. It'll be huge if you can get that. For anybody, if anybody can get a C in English maths, it means it makes a difference between a, you know, an average course or what they actually want to do. Maths were well hard. But did you stay? I stayed. Well, I did it. It's going to be better than that in English, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hopefully, I want to be me. So uh, why? No idea. I just hope that I've passed. It's what? basically opening a new life, right. seeing what I've got. And seeing how far I can go with them. Do you want to see the card you got me? Yeah. I'm nearly in the cry. I would just sat there. I know how bloody hell I'm going to miss her. The best bit was actually the yaw hashtag and me. <laughs> Although it was the wrong yaw. That upset me a lot. No, I can't. I can never remember them. Like, do you know, there, there, and there. You are. You are. So which oh, one's no, that? Like, your. You are amazing. Yeah, but you are you is same as your. No, isn't. Yes. No, isn't. Can you remember what a noun is? A noun. Yeah. Something that can hurt me or I can hurt well it. Well done. And what describes a noun? Uh, adjective. So, oh my goodness is that gracious right? me. Yes. Oh, buzzing. It only took two years. Mr. Yeah. Foster, you well? What's your time? It's in my pocket, sir. Yeah. I'm getting shot, I believe. Tom also found love in Year 11 with fellow student Bailey. But sadly, it wasn't to last. One day it just stopped. I lost feelings. I don't know why I just did. We might have looked cute together, but we're just different people. When they split up, she actually took it really, really hard because she really did love him. She really, really loved him, and it re it knocked her flat. I probably didn't think that it were, it were ever going to end up how it was. Like, I thought that we were just going to be together. And... Yeah, all that. In 2013, Bailey was one of Thornhill's most memorable students. Anybody in year 10? I'll go. Oh. Okay, right, but well, Bailey can go, then we'll go to party on the clip. Hello, fellow staff and students. Everybody knows my name, so I don't need to tell you. But she spent as much time working on her looks as she did her GCSEs. Like my eyebrows. Shave them all off. Like Tom, Bailey sat her exams this summer. Oh, I did and year heads Mrs. Marsden and Mrs. Crowther continue to support her as she awaits her results. Come on, have a look. Oh, look at her. My eyebrows. <laughs> 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 Hello, Mrs. Marsden. 